Hello and welcome to another Scratch Quick Tips tutorial. This time we will be going over some random functions in Scratch that you might not necessarily know already, but that can brighten up your daily life. So let's have a look. First thing I want to talk about are the scaling parameters here. As you can see when you modify the X scale, the Y scale also behaves accordingly to keep the aspect of the image. And this is because the two are linked together as indicated by this white line here. So if we wanna unlink the two, we need to drag a line through both of those parameters, like so. And now we can scale the image on X and Y axis individually. At any time we can then link them together again and then scale the image with the new aspect. Next I want to introduce you to our magic number picker feature. Let's say I want to copy the X scale value to the Y scale. For this to happen I need to first unlock the two and then click on the Y scale parameter to display the pop-up calculator. And to insert the X scale value, I just need to click on the number. And as you can see, now the Y scale has the same number as the X scale. We can lock the two together again and scale. By the way, with the magic number picker, you can not only pick the X and Y scale, but any numerical parameter on the Scratch UI. Next, I want to show you a cool feature that we have on the animation menu. So let's take this shot and put a quick animation on it, like in the gamma, bring down gamma at the beginning, and brighten the clip up in the middle, and bring it down again in the end. Maybe also add second animation for the saturation. Start desaturated and oversaturate, and at the end, do a not too much saturated thing here. So this animates quite well. And now we can go to the animate menu and look for the corresponding animation channel like the master gamma or the saturation. But there's an easier way to um, display those channels because we can actually click and drag the animate button to any parameter on the scratch UI. And as you will see, the crosshair turns green if we are hovering over um, an animated parameter like those two. If I release the button then, Scratch will pop up the animation editor and also frame the corresponding curve accordingly and we can modify it in any way we want. We can of course also display the saturation curve, frame the two and modify those. While we're in the animation menu, let me introduce you to the so-called global mode which adds those two bars in the animation menu. And you can use those bars to either move the animation in time. Let's just play around with the saturation curve. Or stretch the animation in time, like so. Or move or stretch the animation in its amplitude. So one last thing about the animation menu switch off global mode. When modifying keyframes you might want to lock the cursor to either X or Y axis. To do this hold down Y to lock the Y axis and just move the keyframe on the X axis. Or hold down X to lock the X axis and move the cursor only on the Y axis. Alright, next let's have a look at our playback modes. Play back this clip and click this button. I can switch between play once or loop or 
bounce back and forth. Like so. Let's set this back to loop. And play forward. Now if I hit this button with the control key pressed, I can increase the playback speed. Like so. Up to uh, 50 times. If I then click it again, I'm back to normal playback. Last but not least, I want to introduce you to a way of copying grades. So let's go to the first clip here and let's create two layers. One that brings the gamma down and makes the image a little bit more warm and another layer that a little bit of the saturation like so. Now I can control select those two layers and just attach them to my cursor and drop them on the next shot like this. However I can display a film strip right here which allows me to select the clips that I want to work on and now again attach both of the layers to my cursor and drop them on another clip. If I do this with the control key pressed, I can drop my grading on multiple clips until I release the control key and drop it one more time. And now the grading is on all of those clips that I wanted the grading to be dropped on. Alright, that's it for another quick tips video. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye!